good pals to leave a little left on bones. If Mother Nature herself don't swallow me up whole, but the crows and the crocs and mama gonna starve themselves to death. Cause I got at least a hundred years till someone's getting fed. Every day this river rises. Hadn't tried. Else. That's the grandparents. Yeah, that's what this, is where the, this is where the chocolate and the, the energy drinks before this they go home have exactly. to die. I know the feeling. Hey, Tom. Hey, man. How's it going, man? Good. Come on in. Hey, tomorrow, how are you? Good. Today we're going to be at Tom and Nancy's. They're wanting a table of some sort built, so we're going to figure it out. Have a seat. Sure. Appreciate you guys coming up. Oh yeah, that's it. I'm going to sleep. Oh, Lord. That's oh, right there now. Yeah. Well, how y'all been? You've been doing yeah, good. Yeah, really? Doing good. Little boy's been up here messing with you? Yeah. Hey, they love the car. Now, now they're uh, learning to ride those quads. The quads. They're having fun with that. Yeah. The machines. Well, Doc and Waylon are at it all the time. They love to go. Now, Doc is the more gregarious one, so he takes the lead. Waylon's a little timid, but once Doc has decided they've gone far enough, Waylon takes it the next step. So <laughs> they are they are all boys. When they come inside, they love playing around in here. Yes, sir. They're on this table, and you can see it's getting getting a little. Uh, oh Lord! Yeah, that's a. Uh, it's getting a little suspect. What do they do? Wrestle on it? Yeah, a little of that, a little leaning all over the cars, a little standing on it, jumping on it <laughs> each other. Man, it's like a hula dancer. <laughs> <laughs> the power bomb. You, you can tell. The boys have just, they've run a number. They've done what kids do. They've hot wheeled on it and they've wrestled on it and it's seen its days. So uh, it's definitely time for an upgrade. For sure. This thing looks like it's worn out. Maybe you can make this a table, something a little more sturdy than that. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, we could definitely do something like that. Yeah, that would be great. We've seen a few of the uh, things that he's done in the past that uh, Clint and Dave together have come up with, and we thought, boy, that's some pretty neat stuff. And and it's cool that there's some history behind the wood. So um, we thought, well, let's let's see what they can do. I was excited to have something that Dave had actually been involved in pulling it out of the river because it's it will mean something to the boys. So I kind of wanted that involved in the house. Be nice to have something a lot bigger too, because now we got four of them running around, pilots walking around the edge of this thing and all. Mm -hmm. Give a little more space to play with. What do you think? I think so. I think it'd be nice. Well, this this living room's huge, so yeah. a little bit bigger wouldn't hurt. I guarantee yeah. it. Yeah, this is yeah. We we can make that happen. You can fit it in. So basically, on this new table, what we're looking at here is much heavier duty. I mean, it's gotta be survive your children. Yeah. And much bigger than what's in this room right now. So we're gonna need a giant log, very sturdy to build this thing, and larger to fill up yep. the room, right? Yep, that's okay. it. Bigger. bigger. So big giant log. Bigger. I don't know if there's much <laughs> oh, to like I haven't even played with it. No, you just got like little angles on it, and then it's not the top ain't even glued together. It's just like stapled together, it looks like. So they just stapled the joint. Oh, we can fix that up. Hey, look here, man. You know we got to do a good job because you know if your kids break this table, you know what Christmas is going to be. Oh, yeah, right every there. year. Yeah. Hey, good job building that table. Yeah, yeah remember that time you built that junky table yeah. that fell apart? Yeah, fell yeah, that's apart. It. That's, to the yeah. fire. Yeah. yeah. It'd never be the, yeah. No. Yeah. Well, man, you ready to get the swamp, man? Yeah. Let's go have a good time. I'm ready to go swimming. It's hot. Yeah, thanks for having us up. Let's take a look at it. We'll get it all set, ready for you. We'll be back in a couple of weeks and. Uh, well, I appreciate it. Like I say, thank y'all. Thank you, Clint. We will, right. we will get it done. Coming. Yes, ma'am. All right. See you next time.
the dive shop today. I think Dave must have done like a DNA ancestry thing and figured out he was from Scandinavia or something, like some Viking quest thing or something. <laughs> I want to say I'm surprised that I'm I just said we were going logging in the cold, and he's like, all right, I got some stuff at the shop. I'm like, I mean, I didn't mean like icebreaker Scandinavian, like, or Viking or Norse or, well, I don't know where the hell he thinks we're going logging at, but if we need this, I've, I've, I've got some apprehensions about it. I'm just throwing that out there. After all these years, I finally have some proof. He's part Neanderthal. I knew it. What's up, man? Hey, man. I know I said we was going to log in the cold, but I didn't mean like straight Viking, like... That's that Thor stuff right there, man. That's not even Thor. He has a hammer. i hit you with that. It'd be the same thing. You be quiet. Hammer, club, same thing. And the long line of Krakens, we've been known to possess both. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Y'all ready? All right. This box right here. We just broke some stuff. It's all good, man. All right. So, normally, we don't log in the wintertime. Yeah, that's but, why we get more logs in the summer. Yeah. That's what happens when you get busy, though. You run out of summer logs. So I called my boys up at uh, Diversco, Sherwood, Acona, and uh, Genesis, and I said, hey, man, I need something that will keep us warm in the river. So instead of, you know, like 80-degree weather, the river's like 52 right now. She's diving now. Oh, good. I'll drive. I'll stay warm. No, I'm driving the boat. Can I got y'all seats. Can I actually seats. choose to stay on the boat this time? No. Right, because I hate being in a dry suit, I can tell you. You know how much I hate dry suits. I prefer a wet suit to a dry suit. It's simply easier to control your buoyancy and the way your body levels up. And in the river where you have a lot of current, body control is of the utmost importance. Listen, no dry suits this time. All right, check it out. The fine guys at Sherwood Scuba have hooked us up, sent us some new thick suits to wear so we don't freeze out there. We got new gloves. I want blue. New suits. So like, you know how Normally, we don't have to worry about this, but our hands are going to freeze off. So they gave us these big, thick gloves right here. Dude, it's going to limit our mobility, but it's better than having I, hands. I can make do. How thick are these? All right, these suits are 7 millimeter. Normally, we'd wear like a 3 mil. So this is like double plus one, you know, to a normal suit. Even with these new 7 mil quantum stretch Kona wetsuits, they're going to keep us warm, but it's going to limit our mobility. That is going to be nice. It won't be so difficult. Now, you know, a normal suit that you would wear is like a standard three mil. So, like, normally we're wearing like that. Oh, God, just look. Well, look at that, man. Just look. Can you see the difference? So your movement's going to be limited. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's going to be harder to move mm -hmm. through the water. It's going to be Let's tougher see. to swim. Everything about it's going to be a little bit more difficult, but at least these are the stretchy suits that are going to work with us. But say your buoyancy is going to be way up too. You're going to need way more weight to sink. A lot more. So in that, you're going to be more dangerous because now we're wearing more weight. We're talking 24, 30 pounds of weight on us. Bad current, rivers up, cold weather. Your brain's not going to work the same. Good times. Good times. <sighs> Normally throughout the summer, we stockpile wood for orders. That way, unless we get a custom pull, we don't have to get in the water and get cold. Unfortunately, we're out of wood. So what they did, because, you know, not only is your body going to be in the water, your head's going to be there, too. So what they've hooked us up with oh, now Parmesan. is hooded vest. So oh. now we're going to put five millimeters on our head, another three on our chest. So technically our core will have about oh, 10 millimeter. Our head five and our extremities will be at seven. Because if not, not, dude, it's going to feel like somebody's jamming an ice pick in your head the whole time we're in the water. This is going to be very challenging. I'm used to working out in the heat. That's fine. But in the cold, everything's ten times worse. It's as big as they make them. It's just wire here. You got mold on your titties? <laughs> Let's hope not. What is that? Yeah. Now, you're going to have to fit that <laughs> over or under your suit. It's not a bad fit, though. It's actually pretty comfortable. Not a bad fit. This looks pretty tight to me. You look like Mortal Kombat, but 30 years later after they all gained weight from cheeseburgers. That's right. But I still have fatalities. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just because the physique ain't what it was 20 years ago, don't doubt the power. They are pretty comfortable, though. I'm not going to lie. All right, man, we got to get to the river. Grab your suit, grab your size, let's get out of here. I'm ready. 
Look, 3X, that's for you. You're fat. Even fatter for me. Not as fat for you. There's your hood. There's my hood. Here, you got your gloves? I think you have to put them out behind the box. All right, let's roll. Put your clothes back on, please. Put a shirt back on, fat boy. Hey, how deep is that gal right there? What's up, man? What's up, man? Been a while. Hey, doing brother, right? how you been? Doing good, doing good. I need a favor, man. What you got going on? You got a lady that needs a noodle board. It's always nice when your old high school buddies stop by and want things you've never heard of. Okay, I'm not hip on the new terms. What's, <laughs> what's a noodle board? Basically, it's a, it's a cover for a stove. If you have an ugly stove, you cover it. Or if you have a new stove and you want more counter space, it goes on top of it. My name is Bubba Carroll, and I own a woodworking business here in Madison, Southern Rust Woodworks. I build custom pieces, furniture, um, home decor, anything that uh, somebody wants to order. We paint it, we make it, stain it, do it. They ask, I make it. I went to school with Clint um, all through high school, but we also started out in uh, baseball together, t-ball, small league, rookie league, minor leagues. And um, we uh, played football in high school together and then just kind of kept in touch after that. I need some heart pine wood. Um, a lady requested it for a noodle board that I'm making for her. And she, um, I knew that Clint had uh, a sawmill and he cut, um, heart pine from the bottom of the river, and I knew he'd be the guy to see. All right, well, how much you need? Um, four or five boards, she want, it's about a 36 inch range, so it's pretty big. All right. Um, she wanted heart pine, beautiful, and I knew I could get it from you. Well, right on. Well, actually, I already have some cut and dry. Oh, so dried out, look perfect. So if you want to come over here, right. we'll open this barn, like this Let's first bay right here at the barn. Hey, I've never heard of a noodle board, but I'm glad he wants to make it out of our wood. That'll be beautiful. And then it's back there. Oh, so yeah. This is some yellow pine, and that's your pack of vertical clear right there. Oh, look at there. This was extra from a floor they over ordered. So, oh, man, that is beautiful. You can't yeah, find that. Look pick, at out, that. pick out the four or five you want, and just we'll look at those. Them up. Those grains right there match. Let's take those. Perfect. That'll do it for you? That'll do it right there, man. She's going to love it. Well, that's the easiest order I ever made and had right there. <laughs> that's awesome. You know, generally for us, our orders are always big. I wouldn't mind more small orders like this. Fast, easy money. That's it, man. When you get done, call me. I just want to see what see a noodle what board it, is. Right. I, I want to see how it turns out. I got, hey. We've made all kind of stuff out of heart pine. I've never heard of a noodle board, so I'd, I'd just like to see you, it. You give me about a week, and I'll give you a call, all and right. you can come over. All right, man. All right. Well, yeah, just Thank give me a call, man. man. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Take care, buddy. Well, here he is. About time you showed up. <laughs> it's getting colder by the minute. If I had a dollar for every time I had to wait on Clint, I'd have a tiger. What's up, man? Well, damn, Clint. Well, about time you showed up. Will you get a wrist bracelet, too? Yeah, that's what happens when you're special. So, um, not, not normal kidney stones. Um, 
I've been poke prodded and tested and I've got to go back. They think I need possibly a different kind of surgery. I've had a lot of issues with kidney stones throughout my life, but this feels like something different. So I'm waiting to hear from the doctor. Are you okay today? Dude. Well, that's debatable, but I've been poked and prodded and they took like half a liter of blood out of me, but. You ain't missing nothing. Get the boat in the water. I'll be all right. He's fine. It's just another clint catastrophe. We need to get on the water. We're already way behind and get some logs. Well, it's getting colder by the minute, so let's I, get this thing going. It's a good day for Haley to dive. Glad you're diving today. Did you not say me. dive or die? <laughs> I'm not the only person who heard that, right? Oh, I gotta get my stuff out of the truck. Oh. Um, you wanna flip it oh. around now or later? <laughs> Having some slight issues today. Hey, you wanna flip it around or? Uh, you can go ahead and start it and get it warmed up a little bit. I mean, don't run it very much with it being... Come on, dude. Was the really? cranking battery dead? Uh, that does not sound right. We have been sitting here for hours. Clint finally gets here, and the boat's dead. Sitting here does not make me money. I'm pretty sure the cranking battery is like dead, dude. Hey, man, I'll just grab a battery out the truck, and we just put it back in the truck when we get up here. Uh, uh, we, are, just... we already here. I uh, just flip the truck around, back it in, and then we'll change the battery out. Yeah, well, yeah. Can we hurry up? Because it's already late. Time is money, and we've already lost half of our money for the day. Fortunately, my truck has two batteries, so I'll just steal one of them and use it, and then when we get back to town tonight, I'll buy another one. Like right here? Where do you want it, in the hole? So go, go in the hole and then turn positive towards me. This is what happens. Nobody's prepared to log this early in the year. Yeah. Even the boat's like, y'all are dumb, this is too cold. <laughs> That preventative maintenance ain't working too good, is it? That's sort of the battery, rather than batteries not be dead. Right. I'm just saying the dive gear works pretty good. I'm telling you right now, if the dive gear got the same maintenance as this boat, we'd all drown. After the day I've had today, I just really ain't got the patience for this right now trying to run through an electrical schematic in my head to figure out where I think this problem's at. Because I just took that one out of my truck. I know it's good. You know, I've swapped the battery out and I still can't get this motor to turn over. I'm gonna hook Dave's truck directly to the starter, just jump it directly to the starter. That way I can know if I have bad cables or not. I'd say there was two things going on there. One, that stator just needed to roll over so it caught some fire. You good now? Well, I don't know about how good I feel it is now, but hey, do me a favor. Just jump it. Huh? Just jump it. tell it even when you got it running it's not drawing enough to continue to run keep itself just yeah i gotta go home and play doctor all right this is about as useful as a poopy flavored lollipop you've tried one that's odd i don't have the tools or the parts that i need to fix this here so i'm gonna have to go home and get it done there I'll have this thing fixed by in the morning. That way we'll be ready to log in the ice world.
on, Katie. All right, here you go. Noodle board. That's what it is. Noodle boards, that's a handy thing to have in the kitchen. I can see this taking off for him. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's beautiful? Love it. How does a customer feel? Because that's what matters. I can't wait to take it home. Beautiful heart pine. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Hey, I had a little bit extra, so I made a little cutting board out of it too. So you could take that home with you oh, as well. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Yeah, that's sharp. I never thought to make a cutting board out of one. That's good. Man, that thing turned out so cool. I think my wife might like one of them. I'll probably get him to build me one. So that's yours. Awesome. That's yours. Thank you take so much. You. Well, take, take, this is just yours. This is mine just to cover it up. And so you um, do them custom to sizes. Just custom to the sizes of their stove top. Depends on what uh, you need. So basically, if you don't like your stove, you hide it. You hide it. If mama needs more counter space. You got more counter mama space. Mama got more counter that's space. That's exactly right. Well, that seems pretty logical. It is. Look I, at would, I would have never thought of that. <laughs> I, mean, I would have never thought of that. Stove cover slash noodle board right, right there. On. Dude, I appreciate yes, it. Yes, sir, man. Awesome. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you like it. I love yeah, it. Like Thank it. you. I'm going to go get back on the river now. i got more logs. Please. Yep, <laughs> that's work right. Rings, I need work some more, rings. man. I need some more. We'll have to wait for a while. No. Chance to relax. Oh, no way. Hell has frozen over. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you ever <laughs> see him anywhere on time? No. Are Look pigs flying? Look at Please tell me there. pigs are flying. We're never going to hear the end of this because uh, he showed up on time just once. Once. One time <laughs> one we're one never going to hear the end of it. Oh. Look at him. He's just Smarky. sitting there all smug. Like he's been waiting forever. Yeah. Oh, come on. Watch him. Look at him. Look at him. No, look at him. we're never going to. Uh, what, what is he going to say? What is he about to say? Oh, I can't wait to hear it. Whatever it is. If you can't get here on time, just get here when you can. Don't you even start with me, <laughs> sir. How Whatever. long did we wait for you yesterday? We'd still be waiting on him from Seriously. yesterday. We were, we, we were sitting right there this whole time yesterday, and now he's going to show up on time, and he's going to be miracle. Come on, let's, let's go. On time, right, one let's, time in his entire life. Come on, come on. One time he's it's on all right. time. No mouth from the tardy people. Come on. <laughs> oh, Lord. Look who's already here with the boat in the water waiting on Tweedledee and Tweedledum. This guy. They talk all that mad smack about me being late all the time, but who's the guy that has to run the company? All they got to do is worry about showing up the log. Well, it took me till about midnight, but I got the boat fixed, so. We cooking with gasoline now. Somebody needs some cheese with their wine. Who are you referencing? This is the world's smallest violin. Who cares that Clint had to work late last night? If he'd maintained the boat properly, we wouldn't have these problems. Let's just get on the water and find some logs. Unlike most days logging where we just show up and hit the water and go logging, today because of the cold water, we're going to have to don these new 7 mil wetsuits that Sherwood sent us so we can go out here and get the job done. Well, it looks cold. Yes, it does. It looks deep and cold and swift and ugly and Dude, ugly. and. Man, right back over there where we went by a while ago, that's where snake gators live. 
and yeah, cause, <laughs> crocodile Dundee mate just saving it up like <laughs> Croczilla and snake. Yeah, snake about to say snake gator and Croczilla's up in that joint. They're real things. They're kind of like Sasquatch and Chuka, Chupacabra and, and mixed. Yeah. Into like a python by Monty. Yeah. Have you ever been around little kids and they sit there and talk about imaginary playmates or friends? That's what it's like working with these two. What the heck are they talking about? I'm really hungry. I'm really hungry. What's today? Why are you hungry already? Jesus H, we haven't even been out here that long. <laughs> it's Tuesday. What day do you think it is? It's Taco Tuesday. Can we all do tacos tonight? We do tacos. What? I don't drink. I don't go to the Mexican joint, right? You eat tacos though, don't you? Man, I just had burritos last night. Clearly. Yeah, we know that. Okay, seriously though, I want tacos. Let's do Taco Tuesday night. You buying? No, I could eat like five of them though. I'm so hungry. I could eat five, five tacos. Seven tacos. Man, five tacos ain't filling up nobody. It takes like 25 tacos to fill somebody. You can eat 25 tacos. I, I bet you I could put down 10. I bet you I can put down more tacos than you. There's oh, no oh way. Oh my God, look at that Absolutely. gator. No way. I've been training my whole life for this. I can take what, down some tacos. tacos in your mouth? Yes! <laughs> I can eat a lot of tacos. I've heard about people training for many things, but this is odd. She trains to eat tacos? I'm serious. Do you guys want to make this into a I will beat both y'all in a taco eating contest. Just straight wax y'all. Oh, hell no. Where's the gauntlet? I am dropping the gauntlet right now. Ever since I was younger, I've always been a good eater. If there's one thing in life I'm good at, it's that. So don't let my size fool you compared to these boys. You know what? Taco eating contest yeah. tonight. Oh, you know what? On. I'm gonna double up Mexican, and tomorrow is gonna be a horrible day for y'all. <laughs> but I'll participate. Burritos, J just, just, tacos. just to show y'all both. You don't stand a chance. You got that just, thing with your mouth. Yeah, but this is the amount of tacos, not how fast you eat tacos. Didn't say how fast. Right, slow guys, and steady wins. Done. Slow and steady it's wins done. the race. Tonight we are doing taco tonight, Tuesday. Tonight, tonight you're being defeated yet again. I know. Uh, absolutely we know. not. We know. I'm gonna win. I don't, uh-uh, I ain't gonna lose. These boys have no idea what they just got themselves into. Oh, did you hear that? Oh. oh <laughs> why am I on this boat? Get, I am, I am ready to jump in now, actually, please. Hey. Please, get hey, on this can I, can I get hey. extra refried beans? Hey, Haley, check it out. Dog face selfie. You like that? I don't take dog face selfies. Dave, I tried to tell you, it's like it's it's princess flowery stuff now. Don't wow. use filters like that. Man, who cares about dog face selfies and flowers and eating tacos? It's time to log. Today I'm going to be diving in my new 7mm Acona Quantum Stretch wetsuit, which should keep me very warm. However, it may limit my mobility a small amount. Put that with blackout conditions and high water. This is the reason we prefer not to dive during the winter. More weight. Now these new seven mil wetsuits are so buoyant, even big old Dave's having trouble sinking. I got the cure for that. Just add weight. Loading in your weight? Yeah, you know, honestly, if, if I have to go in after him, I'm gonna go in light with a five mil just so I don't have to operate that restricted. I've never more sincerely wished for somebody just to land on three logs right there so we can get done and get out. When you're dealing with a situation like today where the air temperature's in the 30s and the water temperature's in the 50s, it can really suck your core temperature down in a hurry. You can catch hyperthermia if you're not careful. Two weeks.
speak some arts, like nobody happened to want something, I'd be all right with it. That's a good day. Right oh, there. heck yes. That's a good day right Yes. There. There's one, a couple more, and we'll be able to fill this table order. No. No, man, the current. Right no. The current's gonna have it under. It's a big old lump tree out here. We're gonna have to double up on the buoys. The current's just too damn strong. All right. The reason we double up the buoys is because with the swift current, it'll pull our buoy under. So we need twice the distance on the rope so that we can stay above the current line. Basically, if you bring me that front line, all right, we should be able to hold ourselves on that treetop and just let you swim out. Yeah, come on over here and give me that front winch. Got good luck in it. Oh, here we go. Let the games begin. This is where the real advantage of two people on the boat kicks in. It's a really good log, good cat face, good axe cut on it, good heart content. If we can get one or two more, this order's filled. Right in the bushes, still going far left. I've never seen one be that counter heavy, like, It's Jesus just the same, like, same big as that is, is that is. Man, I'm exhausted. I had to swim up in the trees and take a break. Once I got my breath, I went back down, found the log. Got it home. All right, hey, man. We got, we got what we need. This'll do it. It's almost dark. We got to wrap up and go. Somebody give me some gear right here. Come right here. She asked for it, now she's gonna get it. It's Taco Tuesday at the local restaurant. It's about to be an old school taco eating contest. She is going down. Look at me. They can't beat me. How could they? Not about speed. This isn't a sprint. I don't lose. Stay calm, Haley. Stay calm. I can't stay calm. Our waiter is so cute. Ready? This was your idea. <laughs> Go! Dude, who knew that girl could eat like that? How do you compete with that? She's practically inhaling them tacos. See that look on her face? She's gonna crack, and I'm gonna take the lead.
We got two more to go. We got two more to go. I won, and they all doubted me. I told them I'd beat him. I told you guys I'd beat you. Well, two-thirds are serious? on the table right here. Like, uh, two-thirds uh, up on the uh, table. Where did the rest of it go? Y'all are just jealous. Now, I'm not... <sighs> excuse me. It's time to go celebrate with my new boyfriend here. What? So, come on. Come on, boys. What? Who the hell is that guy? Who is that guy? Two things. How did I ever lose to Haley in a taco eating contest? And two, when did she start dating Colt Ford? We are never going to hear the end of this. Five, five, kiddo. Oh, good job. First is gonna be get the tabletop itself. Next step will be to cut the outer rails for the table. Next will be to make the legs. To make these legs, I'm going to take a speed square, draw some lines on it, basically trace those lines out with a router to give a spiral effect. We're going to take a torch and we're going to burn the top to give it a real unique look. The last thing we'll need to do is assemble it all and put a finish on it. Bring them in, let them see, yeah. see what they think. Back from the swamp, back up to Gray, Georgia, up here near Macon, Tom and Nancy's house. I stole their key and uh, gave it to Clint. And <laughs> we'll see what happens in a little bit. All right, guys, so here she is. All right. I'm burlap. Excited. Is that what you're yeah, looking for? Burlap? Yeah. <laughs> That's that specialty <laughs> stuff That's we the, found. Uh, the last supper look. <laughs> That's it, man. <laughs> All right, y'all ready? Mm -hmm. <gasps> wow. Oh, it's beautiful. That is awesome. This is a solid 24 inch piece of wood. And this thing's two inches thick, man. You don't find logs that big anymore, uh, it, man. It's meant to be kid proof. I mean, it's meant to be dual functionality. It looks good. It's a good rustic look and a good rustic feel. It's big, it's beefy, it's industrial. But the kids can jump on it. They're like not, it's a trampoline. I mean, they, they can jump yeah. on it. It ain't going nowhere. Oh my God, yeah. that is beautiful. Well, you don't find this, huh? <laughs> no, no. Mm, wow. No. It looks awesome. This table is absolutely awesome. It's we're very impressed. Definitely. It's really cool. How wide it is in one piece of wood. That's yeah. really cool. And I like that texture. Yeah. Right, this is not uh, something I normally do. There you go. Pick well, whole it's plan. sturdy. It's been a whole it's been it's fat boy proof. It's <laughs> Yeah. There you go. No, no more of that. What did you call it when you were here before? <laughs> no more hula dancing now. Hula dancing. Tom and Nancy's reaction, it's what you want to see. They're happy with it. I mean, you always expect people to be happy, you know, doing what we do, but it's nice to have that reassurance. They love it as much as you loved it. Yeah, smile, man. That makes it, man. When they, when they look at it, they smile. You know you did something right. That means another, another great project for uh, Three Rivers Lauren and the Dreadnoughts. All right. Oh, is, I love it. This is it. fantastic. I just love it. Kids are going to be excited to They're, see this. Yeah, absolutely. I think this is Doc Whalen pilot and birdie proof right here. Absolutely. Now, so. yeah. Yeah. We can line them all up. <laughs> so I'm saying, they watch Not TV. Go, you can watch TV. Yeah, have a seat. See what, see what it fits like. Yeah. Sit down, man. Yeah. Perfect oh, height. Get your dinner it. on That's it. Right. That's right. Yeah. It's great for us, too. <laughs> yeah. So it's a little bigger than the one we had, which is actually good. Uh, you know, we, we kind of said that maybe a little bigger would be good, and this is this is perfect. It uh, it lines up well with the sofa, and uh, it'll be great. They can do all their things around it. We get into squabbles sometimes <laughs> on the old table, so this will be wonderful. Yeah, this will be enough for them. This will be nice. Yeah, we love it. Uh, Thank yeah, you so we, much. We yeah, no problem. You guys, you hit the nail on the head. <laughs> tell us, tell us how the kids do on it. 
We will. We'll fa FaceTime me next time they're here. Yeah, we'll have some yeah, fun, definitely. All right? yeah. definitely. Appreciate yeah, it, Mr. Tom. Thank Ms. you. Ms. Nancy. All right. We'll see y'all. We're going to head back down to Valdosta. All right. Thanks, appreciate it. Looks fantastic. I love it. You could have done better.